When an event is so pivotal as to render all that comes after it truly different from what came before, we call it a landmark. There are landmark court decisions that redefine principles in such a way that they virtually deflect history from its accustomed course. There are landmark scientific discoveries that enable us to understand life in ways that were not possible before. There are technology landmarks whose impact is so dramatic as to become the point of reference for future progress. In the PM industry, a product, process, equipment, or material that has made a significant impact on PM usage may be recognized by MPIF as a PM industry landmark. To date, only two products have been recognized as PM industry landmarks. The Powder Forged Automotive Connecting Rod in 1990 and the PM Variable Valve Timing System, or VVT, in 2010. Today, we add one more product category to this distinguished group, orthodontic appliances made via metal injection molding. Although the efforts to improve teeth straightness and alignment have been with us since ancient times, orthodontics as a science only began to take shape in the mid-1800s and gathered momentum in the early 1900s, following the work of Edward H. Angle, who devised the first simple classification system for defining the crookedness of teeth, which he called malocclusions, and invented appliances such as brackets for moving and aligning teeth. Early orthodontic brackets were handmade, often from gold that, because of its softness, required frequent adjustments by the orthodontist. By the mid-1930s, prefabricated brackets made of stainless steel had been introduced. While these represented a significant advance in the art, they too had drawbacks. Each bracket had to be individually machined, a costly procedure, and their highly angular machined edge surfaces were uncomfortable for patients. These factors inhibited the spread of orthodontic care in the general population. It was not until brackets and other appliances, such as buckle tubes, began to be fabricated through metal injection molding that orthodontics usage exploded. The historic trajectory of the use of MIM in the orthodontic appliance field is nearly coincident with the history of metal injection molding itself. In 1973, four entrepreneurs in California formed a company called Parmatech to commercialize the technology for which Raymond Weech, one of the partners, was to receive a patent in 1980. The manufacture of parts from particulate material, metal injection molding. By the late 70s, MIM orthodontic parts were being prototyped by the company. It isn't always easy to pin down the primacy for any technological advance. Similar developments frequently take place independently by different individuals at the same time. But what can be stated with certainty is that a patent for an orthodontic appliance made via MIM was issued in August of 1980 to James Reynolds of Zuloff Incorporated. By then, Zuloff and other companies, such as Rocky Mountain Orthodontics, Unitech, and American Orthodontics were either manufacturing the components via MIM or having them produced for them by custom MIM fabricators. By today, Virtually all metal orthodontic brackets and buckle tubes are made via metal injection molding. The key to MIM's overwhelming success in this application is its ability to produce stronger, smoother, and more precise appliances. Patient comfort is enhanced by the rounded edge designs. For the manufacturer, MIM offers greater efficiency, better material utilization, and improved repeatability and that has brought the cost of the appliances within the reach of more patients globally. Without a doubt, metal injection molded appliances have altered the landscape of orthodontic care, and in so doing have helped advance MIM technology and enlarged its markets. For the impact this application has had and will continue to have, it has earned the MPIF PM Industry Landmark Recognition.